I'll tell you what I knew. The rain has actually let up. It was raining just a moment ago, kind of uh, steadily raining, but it's kind of let up. It's kind of periods of showers, but that's not going to stop thousands of people from coming out here today. And one of the people they get to see when they come out here is Brian Perkins from Washington. Brian, thanks for joining us this morning. Take me through. This is your boat that uh, our photojournalist won't let me on, uh, Mike Crotchy, won't let me on the boat because he won't let me drive it. But take me through what you guys are looking forward to because this is an opportunity for you to win today. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, we have to first survive the river. Uh, the, the weather conditions have turned uh, in, not in our favor for today. Yesterday was really good. The, the water was really nice. Um, today, since the wind's blowing against the current, it just makes it an ocean out there. And, uh, you know, we have to survive that as well as beat the competitors. Um, so we'll see what happens, but it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a busy day. Uh, and a really rough day. So hopefully we can come back with uh, with all the boats together in one piece, and uh, we'll see who's the winner. Slightest uh, wind can make a big difference when you're talking about going against the current. Talk, take me through that. I mean, this is you guys have to plan your 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 moves and plan how you guys calculate things. Take me through that as well, because people at home that get a get a thrill out this. This is huge for you guys because even the slightest change in wind can make a big difference. Yeah, yesterday the wind was blowing about this same, maybe a little less, but it was blowing. Uh, the other direction and so it was blowing with the current where it doesn't build the waves don't build and um, yesterday with the aldb dodge we we won our first heat um, and then took second in our second heat so right now we're tied for second uh, place points going into today um, but today like i say we've, we lost one boat yesterday from a blowover uh, we've lost two from mechanical failures so uh, today we have five boats that are ready to run um, and that's a full field so we still all have to get through these next two heats. I mean, there's no guarantee we're going to make it to the final. Uh, so uh, we'll just see. If this wind keeps up, it's going to be a challenge. So, you know, we talked before we went on the air about me possibly, because I just shaved my head, I'm more aerodynamic. I can just hang on to the wing, right? I mean, I, the only other person that would be jealous of this in our newsroom is Andy Choi, and he's on the anchor <laughs> desk. So, I mean, I have no makeup on. I, I My head's shaved, so I, I will be able to just hang on, right? I mean, I, I have a life jacket. Other than getting a little burnt, that uh, that turbine engine back there comes out about 600 degrees Celsius. So uh, if you don't mind a little heat, you'll be all right. Will I get suntan or will I, get, will I really get burnt? <laughs> uh, you'll get burnt. <laughs> Ryan Perkins from Washington, thanks for joining us. Let's take a look at the information you guys need to know if you want to come out here. Everything gets underway around 9, 10 this morning. That's just after 9 o'clock this morning with the opening ceremonies. From 11 to noon, our heats 3A and 3B. And as you just heard Brian Perkins say, he is in second place. Then from noon to 1, an air show that is bound to be a lot of fun. Autograph session as well with a lot of the drivers. Then from 2 to 3, four, heats 4A and 4B. Then around 4.30 this evening, the Detroit APBA Gold Cup final taking place here. And as you heard from the driver himself, these wins going against the current have them calculating how they're going to win this. And of course, this is the first opportunity where there's not a previous winner here. So this is an opportunity for all of these drivers, you guys, to really win. And I, you know, I might put my uh, my my uh, my life jacket on and <laughs> hang on to the wing. Whether you morning. get burned or not, honey, ma. <laughs> You know, I need a little suntan anyway. Okay. Kim Craig gave me some self-tanner, and she gave me some self-tanner to try on my bald head. But I figure, you know, when Manny asked me if I wanted to shave my head, it may be an opportunity for me to be more aerodynamic and show my talent. And with no makeup on, I should be fine. The things you'll do for the job. Yes. All right, Nima, thank you so much. We'll check back with you in just a little bit.